Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ian here, or Skyblazers Gaming, and today we're taking a look at that new, that tank game again, World of Tanks. And today we are looking at the M40. I can't remember this thing's name. M4190GF. Um, it's the new trade premium. It came out for the um, basically the Super Bowl World of Tanks, where the premium, where the professional teams duke it out for gold and real real life money, right? War Gaming. The, the company that makes this game came out with a new tank. This thing. Um, it's a tier 8 light tank. It's basically average in most respects. Except for the fact that it gets amazing he um, HE rounds, which I'll get to in a second. But what this tank is, it's basically a Walker Bulldog with a 90 mil. Um, basically the Americans had this Walker Bulldog. It's an American tier 7 in this game. Which we can see here. And what they did is they took this 76 millimeter and they gave it a German 90. And, the Ger and they gave it to the Germans. Right, or the Germans put it and put 90 mil on. That's what we have here today, um, with us here. And today you see me playing with Etchy Squad and my friends over here, Gear Papyrus, in a scumbag artillery, and in a fellow light tank. Here I'm gonna pop it into the camera that I was using. Um, and I wanted to share this replay with you because it really highlights what this tank's good at, and what most light tanks are good at. Here, first shot, miss. Right? Okay. Now. Watch how I took that shot where the where I couldn't see through the bushes. That's because I was didn't want to be spotted. Now I see this guy here and I back up so the bushes aren't visible and so I don't get spotted by the light tank down there because I can't I wasn't seen through the bushes because if I can see through the bushes then the bushes are negated the camera value I get from seeing through them is negated as soon as I fire, which is why in a second here I'm gonna mess up. Uh, here it's fine because I'm behind a rock. Here I'll show you. See that rock right there? That's why I was fine here. But I actually do. Here's my, my one of my two mistakes in this game. I fire at him. I do damage, but I'm spotted. Normally that'd be okay. Sure, you're spotted, right? And then <laughs> I drive out right in front of his gun, and here I'm clenching. I'm like, oh god, artillery, artillery, artillery. No, please don't kill me. <laughs> and I'm screaming at my platoon mates, but you know I'm fine. And, um, basically this, this, um, frustration there. This tank will be available all month, and I think it's a good buy. I really do if you can get it without some stupid bundle that Wargaming does. Um, but the reason why this tank is special is it's HG rounds. If I can blow them up. Look at that. Most HG rounds maybe have 50 penetration. This one has 102, which means you can pen enemy light tanks, rears of heavies, and do extensive damage. You can do more... With high explosive, you do more damage as well as more module damage, which means not only are you damaging the tanks more, you get more module damage and so forth and so on. Um, Alright, so here we're going against the Stornamil. It's a tier 7 German tank destroyer, but I see this KB-5, and I aim for first shot, but I'm trying to track him. There we go. Good tracking shot there. Because I only had HE loaded. And now I aim for the fuel tanks, which are right there, and set them on fire. Seriously, those are the fuel tanks are. See where I'm pointing my cursor? Just a little bit above that. If you're lucky enough to pen it with this with this tank. Now, I'm back to the HE because this tank's very lightly armored and I want to pen him. Now watch this. 350. This gun does 240 average normally. With HE, it gains an extra 50%. That's insane. That's what HE rounds do. They allow you to effectively take out enemies more quickly, but it's, it's a chance, because if they don't penetrate, then they're going to do minimal damage. They're still going to do damage, because they'll explode on the outside of the tank, or they'll get stopped, but they'll do minimal damage. Okay. Now the enemy team just getting wiped up here. This really shows uh, how quickly this tank can clean up. Aiming on a tortoise at that tier 9 British tank destroyer. Let make another mistake here. I'm aiming for him, I think I should be fine, and then the tortoise aims at me. I do get a shot out of it, but I'm not trading with the tortoise one of the highest DPMs in the game, which means damage per minute. Now I'm communicating with my platoon mate Etchy here, and we both aim at them. He repairs his tracks, and I aim for his tracks here so you could Etchy take him out. I don't even know how that shot got in, but I was aiming for his tracks, and it's still somehow penned. Now Etchy's going to go deal with the tortoise, and I'm going to go deal with the super pressure in VKB with his mutts. After I get some sneaky ass shots. Surprise! You know, alright, there we go. Now we're aiming for the Super Pershing. The Super Pershing isn't necessarily a good player. You know, he's commendable. He's from Clan Row, which is fine. 
He looks over, he takes a shot, and me this Panzer 58 must decide to go. Now what I do here is I try to fake like I'm not going to aim at him, I'm going to go this way so he'll ignore me. Because, you know, that happens sometimes when people don't think you're going to focus him. I drive past him to get, because uh, I don't feel like getting shot and getting behind his gun. He looks like he's going to look at me, but he doesn't, so I feel like I'm safe just to go behind him and get some free damage out of it. I drive in front of him because I feel the much should have finished him off earlier, but he didn't. Um, I deliberate here whether to go to the tortoise or to the VK. But it really doesn't matter, because either way, I'm just going to, you know, get maybe one more two, one or two shots off. But check out how quickly this tank picks up damage. 4k. In a light tank, that is insane. You maybe pick up 2k if you're good at light tanks, but this is a really good game. And I don't even get to finish the final kill off. Um, but that was the game, man. This, this tank is an amazing tank if you know how to use your rounds correctly. It's really good at training you how to play the game. And that's what... I would pick this tank up for. If you're new at the game, I wouldn't necessarily pick it up, but if you're someone who likes playing World of Tanks or his um just wants to try out a new class, go for it. Um also if you want to take them out, literally just shoot them anywhere. They're light tanks. Don't worry about it. Just watch out and don't don't give your ass to them. You'll be fine. Um so guys, thank you so much. That was the replay. I will leave the um end clip or end plate in the description. I'm still working out on how to get that up on here. I know that's possible because I've seen it on other videos, but give me some time. And if the mic quality was sappy on this one, I apologize again. Getting a new mic. Thank you. I will see you guys next time. And